Hello everybody out there on YouTube. This is 43 Eyes and today I'm starting my series of how redstone works from beginner all the way up to expert. Now this is my first episode which is going to be extreme basic basics. So most of you will probably know most of this if you are even interested in learning redstone but if there's somebody who just just started and wants to know the very basics of redstone then this is the video for them. So basically redstone can either be off or on it's a substance that can be either be off or on now its main power source is a redstone torch a redstone torch is the main thing that can power redstone to have it make it have an on current there's some other things that can give it an on current too like a button buttons that will power it on for a second then there's the lever which will power it on forever until you flip it back off and a pressure plate which will uh, keep it on until you come off now in most cases there's objects in the game that can only be, that will activate when redstone is touching it and is in the on position like that redstone on door on. There are other objects like wooden doors that can be activated just by clicking on them or right clicking them or whatever. But the iron door won't be activated if you click it no matter what you do it won't turn on unless you power it in. Door can, the wooden door can do the same thing. But you might be wondering to yourself well, that was just the extreme basics that I just told you, but you might be wondering to yourself, if the lever is not touching this redstone, how is it being turned on? Look, the redstone's touching this pre pressure plate, so it's obviously gonna turn on, but this lever is nowhere near in contact with this redstone over here, so how is it turning on? Well, that's a very simple answer. Redstone can travel through one block. Redstone can't, well, there's a little thing to this. Redstone can't travel through a block like like this. It can't do that. But it can activate something directly on the other side of that block. Or it can be activated by something on the very other side of that block. But it cannot pass through blocks. It can only be directly activated. And I'll demonstrate that. see so within one block if you're think the thing you're trying to activate is within one block of um, where the redstone ends and that'll work this is useful for hiding redstone like this Uh, I'm just gonna and you know you can activate something by pushing it through one block so this button or let's make that into a lever so this lever can activate this redstone because it's within one block in front of it well this doesn't mean that you can do this see the redstone has to be touching the block that the lever's touching. Like that. Okay. You can see, if we do this, it will activate because it's passing through one block. It doesn't work with two blocks. See, look. See? No power. Just want to point that out. So, this is good for hiding stuff because you can um, make it look like there's walls, but actually inside those walls there's redstone. And since it can pass through one block, voila. 
And you might not know this, but a redstone torch is something that can be activated itself. So I'm going to demonstrate that. A redstone torch can be activated, but the redstone torch that's going to be activated has to be on a block. So like this. Whenever a redstone torch is activated, but the torch has to be on any side of this block, any face of this block, except for this one because redstone's occupying that space. So redstone can actually activate a redstone torch, which will turn it off. And that will be useful for different gates and stuff, but we'll get into that into the next episode. So, yeah. But you can't activate, deactivate a torch just by putting power to it like this. Because look, it's touching the redstone source, so it's just automatically going to be on. So, you'll have to mount it on a block and, put, and run the redstone into the block. It'll work like that. Now, what I just made here is actually an inverter, but we're gonna get more into that next episode. So it's getting dark, guys. So, yeah, guys, this is the very basics of redstone. Uh, it's more of a demo to see if you guys like this series, and leave down in the comments if you want me to continue this. So, because if you want to learn about redstone, I'm your guy, because I'm really good at this, and me and my friend Caden are good at it too, and we can these tutorials for you guys so it's getting dark so i need to end this so anyway guys thank you for watching this first episode of the uh redstone tutorial so i'll see you in the next episode later